Stay Go. together. Yeah. Three, two, one. Hey, hey legends. legends. <laughs>
Hey guys, Georgia from Food FK here. Uh, today is a very, very special day. It is the day one of the opening of the Fittest Flock Gym. Um, probably been waiting about 10 years for this. A lot of people are like, man, you're crazy, you're going from online to bricks and mortar. But a lot of people don't understand how actual sentimental it is to all three of us. Um, pretty exciting. We've also brought on uh, another partner for this gym. Yodi Yu! Where are ya? Yeah. Come here and I'll introduce you. Quick. <laughs> Come this way, bro. Alright, so. Hi, guys. Believe it or not, his name's Giorgio as well. Giorgio Spilaudaki. We call him GSP for uh, short because it's a bit of a mouthful. Uh, probably the fittest man you'll ever meet in this world. That's it. Okay, and a lot of people much. are like, man, that's a that's a big statement to make. But if he stayed uh, injury free for more than four days, he would definitely be probably competing at the CrossFit Games. Um, tell us a little bit about yourself, brother. I'm living the last six years here in Australia. Uh, I met Giorgio. He put me into... At a CrossFit uh, gym? Yeah, exactly. And probably that's the reason why I started uh, this kind of uh, stuff. Stuff, yeah, exactly. I have done uh, quite a lot, I think, in that time of. Uh, uh, Used to be the Catholic. Was ranked number four in uh, Greece as well at one point. So he's a bit of a weapon. Um, <laughs> but yeah, massive day. Uh, we had three classes this morning. Or sorry, yeah, three classes: five o'clock, five thirty, six o'clock. All of them fully booked. He ran in with Azar. Great energy. A lot of yeah, people. awesome energy. Yeah. Uh, everybody that was coming in was like, wow, this place is epic. And it is. Um, the best start we could have. Yeah, the best, start, I best outcome that we, yeah, we could have had. So far, we've got around 240 members and it's day one. Not too bad, I think. Uh, what else? What else can I tell you about this place? Should we go for a tour? Yeah, let's go. Okay, so to start, I have to take you through my favorite part of the gym. Not really the favorite part, but the part that I show everybody first. These bathrooms speak for themselves. It's probably nicer than the bathroom I've got at home. And then you have to see these shower heads. Like, come on, that's pretty good. Um, three bathrooms, lockers, techno gym treadmills, kids' room. We've got rings up here, but as of tomorrow or the day after, I'm praying tomorrow, it was meant to be today, there'll be boxing bags hanging from the beam. So we're gonna have 10 boxing bags, seven across here and three across here. So we've got three different styles of boxing sessions. So the first one's hit, it goes to 28 minutes. It's like a bit of an express session. Um, you get in there, you get the job done, you get out. The second one is straight out boxing and it's one of the coaches probably be Aaron, who's had what, 20 fights, two losses, professional as well. Uh, and then the third one's kickboxing, again done by Aaron. Um, while I'm on the classes, a couple more of our classes are swing classes, and of course our FK method. So our FK method is functional kinetics method. Um, it stands for minute on the minute training, uh, goes for around 18 minutes of conditioning, five minutes warming up, five minutes cooling down. Uh, really, really good to increase your strength, but at the same time, increase your cardiac output. So by doing a, an X amount of repetitions per minute, you're really raising that heart rate and keeping it around that 60 to 80% throughout that whole session. You're not gonna walk out of there feeling like, oh my God, I'm, I'm about to have a heart attack, but you are gonna be like, okay, you know, like I'm a bit panty, um, uh, I'm lost for breath. I probably can't sing, but I can still have a conversation with somebody. If we keep moving on, we got your normal stock standard training area. So your leg presses, your cable machines, multi-cable station as well. Your hammer strength kind of gear. Um, Smith machine. If we spin again, we're looking at a free training area. So dumbbells, 1 to 50s, bench braces to do your normal stuff. A bit of a cool kind of um, lifting platform. 
say, snatches, clean, jerks. Giorgio, the other Giorgio, he's a bit of a weapon on this kind of stuff. Training rig can be muscle-ups. Uh, gymnastic type of movements up here as well. Agility ladder to climb, jump, jump, climb. All right, guys, so that's the tour. Um, if you do want to see more, though, you're going to have to come down and check it out. Our classes are by far the best class that I've done, and I've been in the fitness industry for about 12 years. So come on down, book in for a class, and yeah, go for golf. Day one, so it was hustle, hustle. Uh, we finally got the permit two weeks out, so we've been doing a little bit of work here and there, enough just to keep ourselves moving. Um, I guess you guys probably a good time to talk about you guys probably know if you don't. Yasmin and I uh, designed the look of the gym together. Um, she was an interior designer for Arkfield. Uh, Yasmin died uh, four months ago now. She got hit by a car on her way to work. Um, so after the death, I couldn't really back, go back to the online work. Um, and I couldn't, I actually couldn't talk, couldn't write. I just, uh, my mind actually couldn't work. So the only thing that really got me out of bed was don't cry this thing here. My brother and I built this and uh, together with George's brother it was really good. It was just something positive that gave me a reason to get out of bed. Um, it was some days I just didn't want to get out of bed. I'm glad that I did though. I'm glad that I had something. It was busy, it was hard, but it, at least it gave me a purpose. Um, it was either that or I was going backwards. Um, but finally got through it. Um, and we actually got the gym open. So it was a hustle from the time we got the permit to two weeks wanting to get the gym open, right? So we got the gym open, Sunday night, we're busting, make sure everything's clean, make sure all the process, uh, procedures are in place, and then we open the doors. Everyone books in, 250 members to look after, bang, first day, class is a hustle. We're here from like five in the morning to nine at night for that first week thought I was gonna go stir crazy. We thought we were busy before the gym opened, <laughs> and we thought when we get it, got it to that, that stage, we'd be like, be okay, cool. Mate, it kind of took, up, took uh, went up a notch. I reckon it doubled. I was like, I can't, I can't understand how we're surviving being this busy. But we got through the first week. First week was a success, everyone loved it. So as you're about to see, Channel 7, uh, Peter Doty from Channel 7 got in touch with us. Um, did an amazing story. Mm -hmm. I'm so grateful that he, he actually took the time and actually put the effort into this story. I, I couldn't have learned been, the story as well. Mate, it was absolutely, he nailed it. Oh, the story's about my journey of Yazzie's death and us building the gym together and um, where we are now. Actually nuts, it's been really busy. Um, we started opening with 250 members. Um, we've had um, over 500 inquiries, so it's, it's actually really busy. How does a business that's one week old boom to that level? Um, I guess we've got a pretty big social media following. Um, we, I think we're offering something different for Brisbane as well, um, in a good location at a good price. One thing that does set your gym apart mm. is that is Yasmin up the back? Yeah. Start to tell me that story. Okay, so uh, Yasmin and myself, were together with uh, my two other business partners, the, the two Giorgios, um, we started this concept about a year ago. 
Um, Yasmin was an interior designer for Archipel. Um, and we used to go into her work on the weekends and work on it, pick out some inspo, uh, make sure that um, we, were, we were heading in the right direction. Um, and then we just started on the, the design. So, <clears throat> started on the design, um, really kind of nailed it with, with regards to it, but unfortunately Yasmin um, died uh, on the way to work four months ago now. She got hit by a car, uh, just walked into work. Freak accident, eh? Hey? Freak accident, yeah. It's, it's, uh, it was a tough one, it's, um, but, It's just, uh, it was a feedback to the pub. Um, the way I look at it, it was all, she was gonna, she was always gonna leave at that, that time, you know. Um, oh, it's just, uh, it's just, uh, I'm guessing there's a stack of people, is it family, is it friends? Yeah, so, um, and that's really important um, that, I, that I kind of want to talk about is the amount of support that we felt through this, through the, not only through Yasmin's death, the way that the community has reached out. Um, I got like a thousand Facebook messages, people from all around the world, especially Brisbane, right? um, just reaching out, letting them know how heartfelt. And it, you know, it kind of does show you how much love there is in the world you get strength from that as well you know so out of like a tragedy you can still find some beauty um yeah definitely my, my brother and Giorgio's brother um, when this first started was the only thing that got me out of bed and when my brother was just there by my side the whole time and he was the only thing that kept me going and um <clears throat> then we had all the rest of the community come on board and just help us out. Like we, uh, Georgia's got a pretty big, great, great community and they've definitely got behind my family, all my friends, everyone's been pitching in, helping a hand, we've been working tires, tires so they can get this open. Um, I just really want to say thank you to them. Okay guys, so tomorrow is a bit of a special day for us. We've been waiting probably a good part of 10 years as a little bit more. Um, it is our open day, so it's the official open day where everybody comes down, they get to try all the classes, just get to use the gym. Uh, we've got a couple of, uh, a few media coming in as well, some pretty cool things like we've got BMI testing, uh, we've got a DJ, we've got a mad uh, dance class, like a dance aerobics kind of class. Um, we've got an awesome influencer boxing class as well. So I guess the whole idea about this open day was not just us uh, celebrating the um the opening of the gym and showcasing it to the community. A lot of it is about thanking for the pe thanking the people that um, helped us out along the journey. Mm -hmm. uh, we we couldn't have done this without uh, the help from my friends and family and our, our close community. Um, so there's going to be a little bit of a party tomorrow night for them. Yeah. Put on a bit of a fee. Obviously, we've got all the festivities through the, during the day. Um, I'm, I, we we are really pumped about it. this. It is an emotional uh, type of journey that that's. Kind of, and this day kind of signifies um, the yeah, next stage it. of it. Yeah, so that the end of it, or the next stage. Um, so I hope you guys enjoy it. Thank you, legends, for uh, watching our first vlog. Um, we're going to be bringing you heaps more of these. Um, if you subscribe, um, you'll get a notification of when any vlog. Blog. What's that blog? Blog. It's a vlog, right? It's a vlog. Yeah, sorry. Um, our next vlog is up. Um, and listen, if you want to see anything in particular, any back scene, behind the scenes of the gym, um, any uh, day to day stuff, yeah, topic, po topics that you want us to discuss, please put them in the comments. We'll definitely uh, read them and we'll do our best to address them. Cool. See you, legends. Take my hand, we'll make it somehow. We can't miss out.